Hey, today we're looking at Mark chapter 8. Um, one of the things that Mark is best known for is the way that um, he kind of arranges stories in the life and ministry of Jesus. And um, it's so often the case that one story sheds light or kind of opens doors for the next story. Or um, the next story that you read sheds light backwards on the one that you just read before. It's a technique that Mark uses and it's quite effective throughout his gospel. And chapter 8, I think, is a striking example of this. Um, the story of the man who uh, comes to Jesus to be healed of his blindness. This is the one where Jesus kind of, um, you know, spits and lays his hands on him, um, and he only kind of heals his blindness, right? He says, um, the man looked up and said, I can see people, but they just look like trees walking. So he could only kind of see, right? Then Jesus lays his hands on him again, and his eyes um, are restored. His sight is restored. Um, you know, it it kind of worked that, uh, that it was kind of two stages, right, um, for him to be able to see totally clearly. Uh, the very next kind of story we see is really about Peter. Uh, Jesus asks his followers, who do people say that I am? People, you know, say all kinds of different things, and Peter, Peter's the one who gets it right. He says, you are the Messiah. And Jesus says, you know, you're right, don't tell anyone. Uh, and then and then Jesus uh, kind of starts talking about what that means, that he's the Messiah, and, and what will happen, that he'll, be, um, that he'll suffer, he'll be rejected, he'll be killed, and then rise again. And the followers of Jesus, Peter especially, doesn't, they, don't, they don't understand this, right? And Peter pulls Jesus aside kind of violently and rebukes him because he's like, no, uh, the Messiah can't die. The Messiah is supposed to come into Jerusalem and, and, and conquer and be our king. Um, and this is where Jesus famously says, get behind me, Satan. Your mind is on human things, not on divine things. You see, this is, this is an instance where, um, where Peter can only kind of see clearly. Like he gets it right that Jesus is the Messiah. Uh, the Christ, the anointed one, but he's only kind of gotten it right because he doesn't really understand what that means. And so that's like the first half of the blind man healing, right? Peter kind of gets it right, but then the second half comes. Jesus gathers all of the crowds and says, if anyone wants to become my follower, let them uh, deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Those who want to save their life will lose it. Those who want to lose their life for my sake or for the sake of the gospel will find it. Um, what, what Jesus is saying here, and kind of what Mark is saying, the way that he arranges this, is um, just like the blind man, right? He could only kind of see clearly. Peter, with the Messiah confession, with that belief, he could only kind of see clearly. He only kind of got it right. Um, for Peter to totally get it right, he would need to deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. What Mark is saying here, what Jesus is saying here, is that um, belief, confession, saying the thing, that you are the Messiah, I believe you, um, that's not really enough. That's only kind of getting it right. Um, to fully get it right, to fully see clearly, you have to actually follow Jesus. You have to actually deny yourself and take up your cross and follow him. Um, you know, lose your life by laying it down for his sake, for the sake of the gospel. I think. One thing that is um, difficult about uh, following Jesus in our context is that it's very comfortable to be a Christian in our world, right? There's not a lot of persecution coming at us. Um, our lives are not on the line. In our world today, a lot of times we think if we believe the right way, if we say the right thing, if we confess that Jesus is Messiah, like Peter did, then we see clearly we've got it right. And we're mistaken if that's what we think. Because what Jesus says here is, is quite clear, is um, that's not enough. Uh, what is enough is to actually lay down your life, to actually deny yourself, to actually take up your cross, to come and follow me. Um, that's the lesson that we all need to actually learn if we want to be able to see totally clearly, right? Like the blind man does at the end. And so the, the question that I'll, um, that I'll leave you with, that I'll ask you is in this, in this season of life, how are you laying your life down for Jesus, for the sake of the gospel? How are you actually denying yourself and taking up your cross in order to follow him? What does that look like for you? What, what might Jesus be calling you to lay down, to deny yourself of for his sake? Um, 
whatever that is, my challenge to you is don't just believe, but actually lay that uh, lay that life down, take up your cross, and follow him.